Austin police are looking for women who have been sexually assaulted by this man right here, Ivan Wallace. The Lone Star Fugitive Task Force arrested him last night at the airport. When police searched through his home, they say they found a trash bag filled with women's underwear. They say they're likely trophies from other crimes. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen is on the scene live at East 11th Street where this man lived. Phil? Well, Robert, this is the block where Wallace lived at. This is also the block that police officers uh, say that he, his victim lived as well, one of his neighbors. Now, they caught him uh, on camera because the victim, after the, the night in question, the victim put a camera on her back door and then two night, a couple nights later saw him uh, coming, coming into, uh, trying to break into her house again, and they caught him on camera, and that's how they know it was him. It's a neighborhood of tall fences and gate locks. Neighbors tell me they see Wallace walking around these gates, waving. He seemed nice, said neighbors we spoke with off camera, until he was caught on home security footage returning to the victim's home. When you have an individual like this uh, that not only did it once, but tried to do it twice, you have some type of concern that are there other victims out there? Brandon Fia from the U.S. Marshals Lone Star Fugitive Task Force said they were called in to help because as a musician, he frequently traveled throughout the state and country. Undercover officers arrested Wallace after he flew in from Chicago, taking him near baggage claim. We have to also take into consideration the safety of the public. Uh, so he was followed throughout the airport to where we can make an effect a safe arrest uh, here in Austin. Neighbors tell me officers searched his home last week. The affidavit states they found a pair of the victim's glasses and a backpack. They also found many pairs of women's underwear, another reason they think more victims could be out there. And we found online that Wallace plays the blues at many local venues around town. He goes by the name Ivan Daddy I Wallace, and neighbors tell me he often invited them to his shows. He's now in jail on a $150,000 bond. Live in Austin, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Our KXAN investigative team checked to see if Ivan Wallace has a criminal record. We did not find anything in Travis County, but we did uncover a misdemeanor domestic assault charge from Minnesota, that in 1998.